Why are you so afraid of death? And why are you so afraid of being alone? Or are you? If at some point you choose to become a hermit, you will still figure out a way to keep another individual close by. The key to your life is to be grateful for every single thing that you have, and as long as you carry that gratitude with you you will have a very blessed life. You seem to be surrounded by a lot of people most of the time, and you enjoy nothing more than talking for hours on end about things you find interesting. You love to be admired, and you can do quite well in any type of business partnership. This provides you with the opportunity to run your brilliant ideas in front of someone else, who can in turn help you be very successful. You are a quick thinker and can be very charming at times, unless you fall into doubt, which can leave you very aggravated. A perfect way to shine both inward and outward is to develop a very strong spiritual base. This will ensure that you attract the right intimate relationship. You are a hopeless romantic at times, so be sure to always stay realistic in your search. Know your self-worth before making any long-term commitments. You'll be much happier with the outcome. You are extremely creative and at the very core of your being, an artist. You can excel in almost any of the visual arts, whether that's writing, painting, photography, or as an actor. Your imagination is unmatched and you have a keen wit. You enjoy talking with others and can often do so with great excitement. You are very charming and you have the ability to inspire others like no other. You like to surround yourself with a lot of friends and associates. Your charisma is very vibrant and contagious, but you can sometimes be quite moody. You appreciate things that are aesthetically pleasing. You express all of this creativity with your clothes and the decor of your home. You have a very green thumb, and would be perfect at arranging flowers. It's very important for you to keep your long-range vision in mind at all times, not wasting too much time on things that are less important or too trivial. Make sure to find a healthy balance between being social, and working. Otherwise, you may get left behind. If you are not an artist in any way, you should definitely search out the arts as a hobby. Since you were born under the astrological sign of Gemini you can be, inquisitive, affectionate, open-minded, perceptive, objective, clever and witty, eloquent, cheerful, kind, charming, versatile, savvy, imaginative, generous, inventive, adaptable and communicative, but you can also be restless, nervous and tense, fickle, two-faced, nosy, quickly bored, argumentative, manipulative and indecisive. Here are some suggestions on how you can bring positive change into your life, focus then commit. Follow through on everything, trust even when it's not easy. Look at the big picture, stop putting things off it's now or never for God's sake relax. Mind your own bloody business and for once in your life make a decision, and most importantly learn to love yourself and others unconditionally.